Okay, so here we have section 2.5, problem 10 from the homework. And the problem says find h prime of t. Remember, this means to find the derivative. Uh, find h prime of t if h of t is 2 over t to the 5 6 minus 2 over t to the 4 7. So we have h of t expressed as two terms that are both rational expressions. Well, remember that we had properties of derivatives that say that we could evaluate these on a term by term basis. It's the sum difference property. So we're going to say that h prime of t is equal to d dt of 2 over t to the 5 sixths minus d dt of 2 over t to the 4 sevenths. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is rewrite these using negative exponents. So h prime of t is d dt of 2 times t to the negative 5 sixths minus d dt of 2 times t to the negative 4 sevenths. So remember that a negative in the exponent is the reciprocal property, and we've just taken the t expressions out of the denominator to put them alongside the coefficient using a negative exponent. We did this because now we can use the power rule. Take the exponent and multiply it by the coefficient. And we have that h prime of t is equal to negative 10 over 6 t to the negative 5 sixths exponent minus 1. We will address that minus 1 in a moment. Subtract. And when we take negative 4 sevenths and multiply it by the coefficient, we get negative 8 sevenths t to the negative 4 over 7 minus 1. So now we have to simplify the exponents and we have a fraction subtract one. We need to get a common denominator. So I'm going to erase this one and write it as six over six. So the denominators match. And the second exponent, I'm going to erase the one and write it as seven over seven. So those denominators match. This brings us to negative 10 over six T to the negative 11 sixths exponent. The double negative that occurs here gives us a plus 8 over 7 t to the negative 11 over 7's power. And this answer is good, but you may not find this as the answer choice available. If you have a multiple choice type of question online, this may be expressed differently. And there are a number of ways it could be expressed. We're just going to take the negative out of the exponent for now negative 10 over 6. When I remove the negative, t to the 11 sixths goes into the denominator with the 6 that was already there, plus, and now we have 8 in the numerator of the fraction, but in the denominator there's a 7, and we're going to take this t to the negative 11 sevenths and put it in the denominator as 11 sevenths. So this is another way the answer could be written. Again, it could be written differently. If they simplify the t to the 11 sevenths, you can use simplifying radical expressions to do that or find a common denominator. So there's multiple ways this can be changed to find different answer types. That is testing your algebra skills to see how you can rearrange answers. But here are two possible ways the answer could show up. All right, I hope that helps. Email me with questions.